Moving west from Michigan Avenue, we come to the Wabash Avenue Bridge. Because of its diagonal crossing of the river, this second generation bridge had the longest span of any of the pre-1930 bridges. The bridge leaves are supported by two rail height trusses. As we travel west from the lake, this is the first bridge in the group that uses rail height trusses. From an aesthetic point of view, the best bridge support system is below the deck, as with the previous bridges. Design conditions do not always make this possible, however. The rail height truss was an ingenious compromise. It provided the truss depth for structural support, but the truss did not extend high enough above the deck to obscure the view of the city or the river. In 2009, the city of Chicago completed the extension of the Chicago Riverwalk. The shoreline was extended into the channel to allow for a walkway under this bridge. Stainless steel overhead provides interesting reflections of the water and of the passing boats. In 1986, the Wabash Bridge was named the Irv Kupsinet Bridge in honor of the longtime Chicago Sun-Times columnist. The most recent film to feature this bridge was The Dark Knight in 2008.